that. Well, I want, uh, you're right. I mean, okay, okay, go ahead. One works one way, the other works the other way, I guess, you know. But, but let's talk about the game it. this weekend, and, and particularly about the duel uh, or the rivalry between uh, Tom Brady and, and, and Peyton Manning. This will be the, what, 17th time they have met, many of them in the playoffs. Who do you think is going to come out the winner today, and why do you think Brady has had the better of Manning in so many of those contests? Well, I'll tell you what, I think it, uh, it's going to be a great football game, obviously, with two great teams that are playing in the AFC Championship game. Uh, you know, there is going to be that advantage for Denver because they're playing at home. Uh, you know, I love both of these guys because of the, just their careers, how they play. They're both going to be Hall of Famers. They both won Super Bowls. Uh, you know, how it's going to play out, I don't know. Hopefully it's going to be, a, you know, a tight game going down to the wire for the fans. And Because, uh, you know, everybody loves football. Is there loves a reason Brady has such a, an advantage head-to-head? -head? Is, it, is it as simple as he's, well, he's had the better team? Or could he be gotten in the head of Peyton Manning? So he doesn't play, obviously doesn't play I against doubt Manning, very seriously. per se. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I doubt very seriously that it's uh, getting in the head of Peyton Manning. I mean, he's played uh, 18 years in the league. Uh, I, I think it's over over time. It's the fact that New England's played a lot of those games at home. Uh, uh, the fact that Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, that continuity, uh, you know, the, the the great coach quarterback uh, combination uh, for all those years, and and uh, you know, Peyton has a chance, has another chance this week. But it's been a great rivalry as far as uh, you know the the quarterback matchup. But they, you said it right, they don't play against each other. What do you make of it? L.A. getting a team again, and the NFL going back to L.A. after all these years. Is that a good move? You know, I feel bad for the people from St. Louis, you know, because of, uh, you know, the loyalty a lot of those fans have had there. But at the same time, you know, I know the NFL has been talking about, you know, getting uh, a team in L.A. or maybe even two teams in L.A. And, and uh, you know, it's something that's, a, you know, it's the number one market, you know, in the United States. So... Uh, they, they do their homework on it, and I, I, I kind of like the fact that uh, they're getting a team in L.A. So you've just made a, an investment. You're now an equity partner in Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza, which Tyler brought up earlier. Yeah. Why'd you pick this as an investment? Uh, well, you know, first of all, it's been a while. It's, uh, you know, the, my original investment in the company was in 2002 with oh. Anthony. And Anthony had one coal-fired pizza, and uh, now there's 50 coal-fired pizzas in Florida and in Delaware, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, uh, New Jersey, Long Island, uh, and we're putting one in Boston next week, actually, or no, our second one in Boston. And, you know, how I did it was really relationships, you know, a guy that I trusted, you know, Anthony was a friend of mine before we got into business together. He is a superstar when it comes to uh, the restaurant business. Uh, he's been in the restaurant business since he's been, you know, a kid, and mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it turned out great. You know, the, what I love about it is to see it grow and the people, how it's affected people that work there and we're employing a lot of people and it's uh, just been a lot of fun. It really has been. There's one very near me in Clifton and I'll have to check it out. I just haven't gotten by there yet. You know, Dan, you've had a lot of investments over the years and, and this one a successful one. Some investments that you've had and other, and uh, like, like most of us, don't work out uh, as, as you would like. What have you learned from your investing successes and your investing mistakes? What has distinguished the ones that worked from the ones that went bluey? You know, I, I think you're right. Obviously, everybody's not perfect when they're investing their money, and, and they, we all make mistakes in life, especially in business and how we handle our financial situation. But I think it's uh, doing things uh, with, with people that you trust, uh, people that love what they do, uh, have a passion for what they're doing, and something that you're interested in, that you're interested in, in the restaurant business, like in Anthony's. Uh, uh, for, you know, Anthony, if you see Anthony in action, uh, it's amazing what he does and what he's been able to create with all the employees and the people that work in this business. So it's really, I think, it's having a passion for it, mm -hmm. uh, doing your research, mm -hmm. understanding, you know, understanding the people who are in that business. I bet you learn a lot more from the failures, though, right? Well, yeah, so you want to try to forget about the failures, right? It's like a, it's like a quarterback throwing an inter It's like a quarterback throwing an interception. Just forget about it. Let me, let me ask you, two, I'm going to get two for the price of one here. I want to get your picks for this weekend's game, and you were known as probably the greatest passer of your era. I wonder who you think the greatest passer is today, may or may not be the greatest quarterback. 
Uh, well, that's an easy uh, answer to that question. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is probably the greatest thrower of a football over the last uh, years that he's been playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's all there's a lot of great quarterbacks in the NFL, and he is definitely one of them. And he's going to be a potential Hall of Famer someday. Yeah. But as far as just flat out throwing the football, mm -hmm. arm strength, location, velocity, it's 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 that guy, Aaron Rodgers. All right, what are your two picks this weekend? So uh, I'd like to see Denver win, uh, and uh, I think my pick on the other game is uh, going to be Carolina because they're playing at home. I think uh, you know they're they're a strong team. The way they played, Cam Newton's having an MVP year. Uh, he's going to be tough to stop. Uh, and I'm just looking for two really good games because mm -hmm. I love the game of football. All right, Dan, thank you very much. We're glad uh, you're with us, and we hope you'll come back. Hey, guys, thanks. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. All right, you too. Okay. Dan Marina. It's nice down there. I was going to say, the weather's a hell of a lot better well, it's nice there than, there than, than where it's going to be for the football games. All right, gold price is closing right now. Let's show you what's going on there. Uh, last I checked, they were higher. And uh, now it's gone uh, pretty much flat, lower by buck ninety for Comex, $1,096. Let's go on silver, copper, palladium, and platinum. Uh, silver's lower by not by much, and copper, palladium, and platinum all in positive territory at this hour. All right, looking for value.